this is Heather with Ideas to Come, and I'm here to share with you my planner. Um, I know a lot of people uh, purchase Heidi Swap and Erin Codron's planners. Um, there's A4 or A5 planners. Um, there's all different kinds of planners. But anyways, me being the type of crafter that I am, I like to make my stuff. And um, I am going to sh be sharing with you another planner um, I'm going to be making, but this is the planner that I'm going to be using for right now. Um, it, this, uh, I purchased, this, this is also a design team project for uh, craft supplies for you. Um, I I had purchased this chipboard kit, Recollections chipboard kit from Michaels, and so that's what I used for the binders. Um, Normally, I didn't even buy it with that in mind, but I mean, normally I make my own out of chipboard. It's very easy. Um, these are not the, bi the binder uh, rings that came with it, but I had these ones. They're bigger. And um, so let me tell you, um, I first started out with this fabric here, and there is cushion on the inside. I haven't finished the back side yet, but that's the material I used on, on first of all. And then I used this lace here from Julie's shop. And that's what you see here, and I just layered it. I also used this trim here at the very top. It's a very pretty trim. I love this trim. And I used this trim here, here at the top and the bottom. I used both of those at the top and the bottom. And then I used this on the spine, which I am also going to, I can't find my um, things to put in here. So I need to purchase some of those as well. And my brain is on, um, not functioning. I put all these sequins on individually myself. I also put these flat back pearls on as well and these little butterflies so um, that's the cover on the inside I just put some patterned paper that I had in my stash I love that and all of this is gonna be prettied up um, all of the printouts that I have I got from Pinterest these are tabs which are I printed out on a sticker sheet so that I could have um, those to put on this piece here is a pocket letter or baseball card holder and I just printed out my months of the year and placed them in the pockets I have um, I have to zoom out. I think, oh no, I just got to go down a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Down, down, down. Sorry about that. And so I have my tabs in the top and then I have the year um, calendar here. This I also created out of a hefty bag, as you can see, hefty. So I took a sandwich, well, freezer bag. Where are my freezer bags? Oh, they're right here. I took a freezer bag and um, I learned this a while back um, when I was making smash books um, and uh, created a little uh, pencil case where I could hold post-its and things like that. I made another one for stickers and, and different little things that I need to carry. Um, because I know a lot of people with their planners they are very simple they have their sheets and stuff I take mine to work so I have to have all these things available I can't be digging in my bag for these stuff when I'm doing it at work this is a, one of the sticker sheets that I printed out and I bought um, full page uh, sticker sheets and then I just printed on top of those and just simply punched I punch this one and put it in and then like this one is in a sheet cover um, you can also do it that way if you don't have any room on this side um, the other thing is also is this might happen is you might punch into some of your stickers so you might want to put it in a sticker sheet that this all this is is a page protector and I just simply put all my stuff inside the page protector, punched the holes, 
and put it in. Um, this is my, I use the, um, this is called clear cardstock and I didn't know that's what it's called but it's uh, the one that I purchased was called clear cardstock and it's just uh, the clear sheets um, plastic sheets and I put my washi on there so there it's very easy to take off and use as I'm doing mine this was also something I did for my smash books and I'll share that um, that um, tutorial. I'm finally going to do that tutorial as well. So there's my sticker sheets or I should say my washi sheets and then this is just an extra pocket page. Um, I'm going to be putting some things in there. Um, I made a couple of those and I'll put washi on this one as well. And this is just a divider that I made out of chipboard out of one of the pages actually and I just put my pattern paper on it I have another calendar here and this is um, the start of my pages what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build mine as I go I'm not gonna have everything in there as you would a normal planner all the pages are already there I'm gonna build mine as I go because I'm not sure what exactly I how I want to use mine so I do have the weeks of the month and as I'm writing in them I'm going to decorate them. This, um, a to-do list and like I said all of these I printed out. They're free printables from Pinterest. And these came with that little, that kit, they're envelopes that came with the kit. So I put those in there. And so I still have, I'm still working on um, things for it. I also got to put the back cover on it but I did want to share this with you since it is the beginning of the year I wanted to share that with you guys see I just printed this out on an Avery sticker sheet then I just cut them out and put them in so um, it's a work in progress so I will be sharing um, as I go along um, with my planner I don't uh, do usually do a planner I usually just write things um, put things on my phone and um, trying to get a little bit more organized <laughs> so there's planner number one um, I wanted to share that with you um, grommets that's what I was thinking um, here on my pages just to help make it stable but I wanted to share that with you oh and the other thing I wanted to share with you is if you do put the, the plastic sheeting in there this is the only thing I'm probably gonna take that out is it um, it it goes on the outside which doesn't make it look very neat. So if you have to um, do that, you're gonna you're gonna lose some space there. So I just I mean you can um, shrink the stickers a little bit to make them fit your book. This is pretty large. This is um, this is seven and a half by ten. This chipboard. So um, it's pretty good size. And that is my planner, and I'll be um, showing these gems I had in my stash. Um, I will be sharing that with you um, as I go along. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.